So most people know me for my Twisted content, but what a lot of people don't know is I made a lot of other content before I started playing Twisted. So while if you go into my about page on my channel, you will know that my YouTube channel was created before the actual game itself was. However, I didn't start making Twisted content until about May of 2022. And all year, I have seen so many tornadoes, way too many to fit into one video, so I am just gonna include all of my best chases here from the start, including my first chase, my best chase, and some other really thrilling chases, and some chases that would have made some uh, milestones as well. So here is all of my favorite chases of the year 2022. So the first chase that I ever put on YouTube was on April 30th of 2022. So I was actually incorrect all this time I've been thinking that the first thing I ever put as far as twisted content on my channel was in May, but now checking the date and it is April 30th of 2022. So I basically started putting uh, twisted content on my channel right as uh, storm season this year started firing up in real life. So out of this chase, there was three different tornadoes that were all very, very close to a mile wide, if not over a mile wide. I don't have the exact length on any of these tornadoes, but they were very wide tornadoes. And a couple of the tornadoes were, it had to be at least 230 mile an hour uh, wind speeds. I know the first one got up to 227 and it was still strengthening after I exited the funnel. And I mean exited the funnel by gotten thrown a mile away. But this chase had some giant tornadoes and although they weren't very long tracks, they stayed in a very great area for them because the west side of the map is very flat and has almost no population. And it wasn't until too much later until I saw the uh, next chase that I will probably remember forever. I saw a hovering tornado completely destroy Wakasha, and it gave it up to EF4 damage, which is the maximum damage that Wakasha can experience, so I thought it was pretty cool that I saw a 180 mile an hour plus tornado directly hit my favorite town that was hovering. Because back in 1.17, hovering tornadoes were my favorite type of tornado. So I thought that was pretty cool, and however, hovering tornadoes aren't my favorite anymore. They were at the time, but I still think that was absolutely amazing to see. Definitely one of my favorite chases, and it was in the Dominator 2 as well, which just makes it even better because the Dominator 2 is my favorite vehicle in the entire game. Now after the hovering tornado that directly impacted Wakasha, I had a odd dry spell of large tornadoes that I've seen in Twisted, so after that, I was very surprised to see finally a high-risk day in a public server because this was back before I played the game a whole lot and I didn't exactly have a private server yet, so... I was doing all of my recording through public servers back then, unlike how I record in only private servers today. This was a crazy tornado outbreak, with a the first tornado being a very large tornado to track from the same uh, line as about Trent and went all the way north off the map. 
Now you got to keep in mind, Trent wasn't actually there because this was before Trent as a town existed, but that's besides the point. So it was very long tracked, and uh, the second tornado, though, was a record setter for the widest tornado I've ever seen at that time at exactly a mile wide. This tornado tracked basically the entire map because it started, it formed off the map to the south. And it went up the entire map. I think it directly hit Mizpah. And then it went up and barely missed Hibbing. And then went up all the way to the very north end of the map. And lifted right before it would have hit Wakasha. And it wasn't too long after that when I saw the most insane tornado outbreak I've ever experienced, doing at least EF2 damage to over six different towns. And I'm gonna show the highlight of that super outbreak, which was the first tornado, which was one of the strongest tornadoes that wasn't a wedge that I've ever seen. This thing was far from being a wedge and it could have lifted my tip too if I got a direct intercept, which I did not. In the end, I think it was roughly 230 to 240 miles an hour, which is absolutely insane for a tornado that's not a wedge. And it's absolutely insane for a tornado in general with uh, modern twisted physics. So as my final video upload of 1.17, I ended off pretty well with a uh, max risk that produced a very large tornado. Now at the time of recording this, I didn't know it was max risk. I actually just really discovered that it was max risk the other day. But anyway, this produced a very wide tornado at roughly 1.1 miles wide, which would be the widest I've ever seen at that time. However. I didn't really notice that it was going to really be that wide because, after all, it did peak off the map. Because it formed basically in Hibbing, so that pushed it south very far because it wasn't a south promotion server. So it did end up going off the map very soon. However, I did get to intercept it, so that was pretty cool, I guess. We have max temperature, max dew point, low humidity, which is very good. I already do know that the storms are going to be moving southbound. That is a very wide mesocyclone. That is rotating so fast. I don't understand how that's considered like a red or not a red TDS. Yes, that is extremely wide, and extremely powerful tornado. Okay, that's a wedge now. That is insanely wide. I and oh yeah, that's definitely a mile wide wedge over there. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane how wide that is. And it's going off the map sadly, so I won't even be able to correctly see the past tornado track of it then. So that was all my favorite chases of the update 1.17 now. I didn't get a lot of action in 1.17 as I did start playing the game in 1.17 in about April. I was not the greatest at the game for most of that time as well, so... It took me quite a while to get good at intercepting tornadoes properly, and I was not the best at Twisted until the ending months of 1.17, and I also got very burnt out at the end of 1.17 as well, so I did not upload very much Twisted at all for the months of July and August. However, in September, they released the update 1.18, which brought me back to Twisted, and also kind of was the entire start of, you know, you guys 
was trying to like actually watch my content a lot as well because during 1.17 i was only getting like 100 200 views per video and now i'm getting 600 views on a bad video and over a thousand on videos even just above average so i'm very glad that the reach has all gone up from that and i thank you guys very much but anyway we go into 1.18 with a banger of a chase with multiple very large wedge multi-vortex tornadoes on a marginal risk so what i saw after that was a very crazy tornado outbreak with very large tornadoes one of them was up to 1.1 miles wide which was the largest tornado i had ever seen at that time and the tornado that had occurred before that one was a very very beautiful large hourglass tornado that i got to saw with the beautiful green hail glow and on top of that it was in a very large hail core as well and that screenshot was so good that i turned it into one of my end screens however the large tornado would actually have been the first ef5 that i've truly experienced it was 1.1 miles wide and it happened to exactly peak at 1.1 miles wide directly over the town of Hiram. It was very cool at the time and it actually was the tornado that left one of the uh, funny little debris moments that I've seen. It left a it left a moment where you could see me and my tiv drive over a piece of glass and it, you know, throws my tiv a little bit. And then this chase also had the tornado that left the uh, f first time I ever saw the uh, broken Chandler fire station doors. And that was from the hourglass tornado since it did make a direct hit on Chandler. Which I think that tornado was also an EF5 but I didn't realize it at the time. I'd have to watch back the video and see very closely whether it is an EF5 or not. This next chase though is probably the highlight of the year when it comes to photogenic tornadoes. This was probably my favorite tornado that I've seen all year as far as how it looks, or well, how they look because there was twin tornadoes that both decided to hover at the exact same time. And the entire chase left me in awe because I thought the first twin did EF5 damage in Viroquois. However, I did later discover that that isn't possible because I thought the EXP homes were rated EF5, UB, and not EF4, EXP. So that was my mistake when I was rating it. I also thought the gas stations were rated EF5. When I saw the completely flattened gas station, I was very shocked. But this was probably the most photogenic chase I have ever seen. And now we have a storm in the absolute perfect position. So to my surprise, no pink TBS yet. And that's probably the ploy and hopefully I get lucky. It's actually a pink TBS now headed right in the area for it. Now this chase also includes twins, except um, it was probably the most rare and ridiculous thing you can ever come across in all of Twisted history. So, you know, I'm just not going to spoil much and just, you know, roll the clip.
In the chase after that, I set a personal record for the widest tornado I've ever seen again. This tornado was 1.3 miles wide at its peak, however, I couldn't see it because it was pitch black, because it was a high precipitation supercell, and it was at midnight, so I could barely see anything. However, I do believe that the tornado was also hovering when it peaked, so I didn't get to see it whatsoever, however, it was a very cool experience to see that whenever it lifted, I could open the radar and check the tornado tracks and see 1.3 miles wide. It was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had in Twisted at that time, and I got to share it with my brother. However, compared to the uh, next chase that I'm going to show you, this was nothing to write home about. I think this is in the path. Directly. It's top of trees. It's big yes, I think this is directly in the path of this thing. Oh wow, it is. This thing could be an EF5. No, we're dead. Oh. This thing is gonna be an EF5. Holy crap! I need to see this thing. Oh my god! I got three giant hail. No way! It just blew up the steam power plant. It exploded the power plant. I'm headed for it now. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. And after this chase, one of the best things that could have possibly happened with my channel happened. One of the biggest content creators in the entire Twisted community, Lancaster, reached out to collab with me. Obviously, I wasn't gonna turn down such an amazing opportunity, so then soon after that, we did a collab. Now, there were two days that we chased together. Well, a lot more than two, but that's a long story. But two days that we chased together that I put on YouTube. Now, the first day was nothing that much, really. However, the second day was a crazy outbreak with a very large tornado to absolutely annihilate Walterville. So we ended off the year with a very good chase. I set a world record. Now, first off... I tied my personal record in an enhanced risk at 1.3 miles wide. I also apparently discovered that hourglass tornadoes can rotate at about Mach 57. Not sure what that was about, but on day two, that was a moderate risk, and I broke a world record, and that world record was the largest tornado to ever be seen on a moderate risk at 1.5 miles wide, which at the time was very close to being the whitest tornado ever. And yeah, all I'm gonna say is <laughs> this was the craziest chase that I've ever been on and I didn't expect anything like it to happen. Oh, it's gonna touch down. Oh, it's gonna touch down. I buy a car you can me too. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh, dude. This thing is already like almost a mile wide. What is this? What is this? I am freaking out. Oh gosh. Why is there a debris ball? What did this hit? God. I am dead. Um, I didn't even go in it and I'm dead. Fully deployed. Um. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. What is that? Look at that. What? Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, this is a moderate risk that is underperforming. So yeah, 2022 ended off pretty good. I hope to see some awesome stuff as 2023 as well. Twisted looks like it has a bright future ahead of it. I saw over 100 tornadoes in the year, and I definitely saw over 100 high-risk days in the year. Had some great experiences with this game, met some awesome people, and I hope to continue all these fun times into 2023. And that's all for this time, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>